Yes, uh, hello, and this is the Unity game development course, and we are making 10 knockdown, and this is uh, part three. So yeah. today, what we will gonna do, we will create logics, we will do code, we will do programming. So in, in other words, uh, these three things are the same thing. Programming code and logics are the same thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, first of all, we will create a ball dot uh, class, which will uh, manage the ball script. What uh, happened to the ball? Okay. It will. It will. Ball class will take care of the ball. And second class, which we will create, is a game manager. Game manager will manage the ball and game stuff actually. Uh, a single class cannot uh, be responsible for everything, but the game manager type of thing uh, is a responsible of everything uh, inside the game. Okay. So today yeah. uh, we will create this two script. Okay. So let's jump into our project. This is our project and okay. So we, uh, we can make it more, uh, uh, we can make a good hierarchy for that like uh, animations and we can put our animation uh, under the animations folder, okay? okay? Like this and now it's look cool I think. And yeah, now it's organized. This is organized, yes. So we can create a new folder for the scripts. Okay. Okay. And scripts. And we will do, we will right click and create a C sharp script and we can call it ball. Okay. And okay. What will happen whenever the game is start, uh, the ball will appear over here from, <coughs> it will animate from uh, this position to this position. And then- Yeah, when, it will roll. Yeah, it will be rolling and rotating. We have created the animation in our previous lecture. And what yeah. will happen whenever we hit uh, to the cans, it will go down and there will be in, uh, trigger <clears throat> whenever ball touches that trigger uh, which will be the floor of this of this scene we will create a floor okay and we will add a box collider over there and whenever our ball touch that uh, floor it will instantiate uh, it will change the position to here now again and once again the animation will start it will come over here okay so that's the point. So for that, what we have to do is to, we have to open up our ball script. Okay. It will take them some time to open the, for, for the first time, it will take some time to open up the Visual Studio code, okay. Okay, so now this is the uh, basic code of any type of script in Unity. So what we will do, first of all, we, uh, we will create a, a vector three game object, which will be saving the ball spawn point. Okay. And okay. It will, it will save, okay, it is a little bit hanging right now. Yeah, so it will save ball starting position, okay? Yeah. So, <clears throat> What do you have to write now? Ball spawn 
on the start of the script this script will automatically automatically run uh, first time one time or at the start yeah. of the game you remember that we have already do that so transform dot position that's it so we will add this script to the ball object okay <clears throat> like this we have to select the ball okay and we yeah. just have to drag and drop this ball script okay so the ball script will get the position of the ball and it will save into the ball spawn okay and yeah. then we don't need the update function right now we will do void on trigger void on trigger enter do you remember that we have already done that and you have to enter hit enter and it will create this code this code uh, this method will run whenever the ball object hits to any any other collider the one it's collided the other yeah okay mm -hmm. and and now what we have to do but what if the ball accidentally hit uh, not the cylinder but the other table yeah ball can hit other objects yeah but i want like when it hits the cylinder the cylinder fall but when it hits the other table it's the ball should uh, uh, go back you know and like doesn't affect it because it's like it's solid right okay. i mean when the ball hits the target mm -hmm. the target will fall yeah right yes but if the ball hit the other table the mm -hmm. second table instead yeah the other table should still stay the same place but the ball will fall down right yeah 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 ball will fall down okay and the other thing will fall down everything will fall down yeah. actually yeah but the table won't uh, that's what i'm saying I, I don't want the table to to move yeah table won't the second, move yeah second table yeah. will not move second table yeah because and the first table will not move from uh, its place okay, okay. Yeah, it will not move. Only the ball will move, and the and these these cylinders will move. Only this thing, nothing else. Okay, so yeah. what what we will do now? Uh, we have to check if if the collider, if the other actually other dot uh, game object dot compare tag is equals to um resetter or we can set reset ball okay this will be the tag whenever the ball fall down and collided with this object so what we have to do okay hmm. okay so we will do the reposition of the ball Okay, reposition of ball because ball is fall down, and we have to do the reposition of ball. So first of all, we have to create a public void reposition ball. Okay, this method and this method, but we will do. we will uh, transform we will stop the object okay like we will or turn off the object the ball object first of all and then what we will do transform dot position equals to uh, ball spawn that's it so it will come back to the Uh, first table. Same thing. Oh yeah. Yeah, it will come back to the first table. Okay. First table. 
okay and we have to start the animation again okay so for that okay. what we have to do is uh, this dot that get component animator dot enable is equals to true okay so it will again uh, run the animation of the ball and now we have to active the ball game object dot set active it is true to run the animation of ball turn on the ball okay. and <clears throat> And then what we will do is uh, let's see what will happen. Okay. Okay. So let's come to our project and Unity project. And now we have to make a plane. In the environment object, we have to create a <clears throat> plane. It is very small, we can make it 100, 100, 100, uh, 150, oh my God. 150, 150. Uh, wait, uh, sorry, there is something going on. Yes. Wait a minute, please. Okay. 